about a little boy, Kathan. I first met Kathan when he was starting first grade, along with my daughter, at their school in Austin, Texas. Actually, I met Kathan's mom and dad first, Sumitra Thavaraja and Lokesh Dorayapa. My wife were, and I were at a reception for parents of new first graders at our kids' school, and we got to talking with Sumi and Lokesh. We talked about a lot of things, but one conversation in particular really stood out. We were talking about Cub Scouts. At the time, I was the leader of the Scouts at the school. And Sumi said to me, you know, Kathan would really like to do that, but he can't do it right now. He can't do it because he can't go outside. He can't go outside because he's undergoing treatment for leukemia, blood cancer. That really bothered me. It bothered me because at the same, same time, my wife was undergoing treatments for a recurrence of her breast cancer. And the idea that a six-year-old had the same poison in their body that my wife had in hers just didn't seem right. Now, Kathan is not defined by his cancer. No one is defined by their cancer. As I got to know Kathan, I got to know a great artist. In fourth grade at St. Andrews, each of the students creates a self-portrait in art class. They paint an image not only of themselves, but they paint an image of an animal they feel most closely resembles who they are. In Kathan's case, he chose this peacock. The rich, colorful feathers, a perfect representation of the human rainbow of one that was Kathan. Now, clearly, Kathan's was not just a gift discovered, but a gift given. Because this ballerina in black and white, Kathan sketched out in just five minutes. And if you walked into their living room and saw this picture hanging on the wall, you'd have no idea it was created by a 10-year-old. Like I said, the fact that Kathan at six was fussing with cancer really bugged me, so I decided I needed to do something. Uh, I enjoyed cycling, so what I chose to do was set about training for a 100-mile bike ride. So I took my bike down from the ceiling in my garage, dusted it off, dusted myself off, and set about things. Now, Lake Tahoe is a lake set in a valley at about 6,000 feet in a set of mountains just northeast of San Francisco. Mountains almost as beautiful as those here in the central range of Malaysia. And about a month before heading out for this bike ride, the school had a little send-off party. And so I decided to do something else. I decided to shave my head so that Kathan would know that he was not alone in this fight against cancer. And as you can tell, I remain bald to this day. Now, the second year I did this ride, it was always in June, uh, Kathan's family came up to Lake Tahoe along with my family. Uh, this is a picture of Kathan and my kids at Lake Tahoe Pizza. One of the traditions we had as the Austin cycling team was to have pizza the Friday night before the big ride on Sunday. And it was great having Kathan there cheering me along because it was a particularly cold year uh, in Lake Tahoe that year. So. Having him there at the finish line to welcome me really ensured that I would finish those 100 miles strong for him. On the years that Kathan didn't make it to Lake Tahoe, we had a little tradition. We'd send pictures back and forth of ourselves. And so what I would do, typically about 25 or 30 miles into the ride, back when the route came back close to the lake, I'd stop, get off my bike, take a picture of myself, and send it to Kathan. And Kathan would send one back of himself. And that smile and his strength and his courage always ensured that the next 70 miles weren't that hard to complete. Unfortunately, two summers ago, Kathan had a relapse of his leukemia. And so he had to head off to Houston uh, for treatments to get himself back into remission. And in this case, he had a stem cell transplant, uh, actually receiving blood from his own mother. Mm -hmm. And Kathan's cancer was a particularly nasty form because this past January, I remember Sumitra calling me twice in a row 
And Sumi and I had a routine. If she called me twice, I knew I had to call back right away. Ironically, I was in a Boy Scout meeting, and I remember walking out from the meeting, calling Sumi back, and hearing the words, Gary, Kathan's cancer has come back. I was mad, I was sad, I was angry, but I realized the next morning, as I sent her an email, I don't know what's around the next corner, but I know it's not quite yet time to get off the bike. So I reached out to some friends at the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, as well as the drug company that had made an experimental therapy that Kathan had used in Houston the summer before and said, it's life and death. We need compassionate use of your drug. We know it works, and we need it now. This is a picture of Kathan, Sumitra, Lokesh, and I sitting around the bed two days later when that magic bag arrived with his medicine. The reason this medicine was so magic is it only attacked Kathan's cancer cells. It didn't attack any of the others. So what it meant was Kathan would give me a really hard time every day saying, Mr. Thompson, I have more hair than you do. <laughs> it also meant that Kathan could enjoy his favorite salted caramel milkshakes. And he could also enjoy his food. You can tell he's Malaysian, huh? Kathan loved food, and this is a picture of us at one of his favorite restaurants in Austin with his oncologist, some of my family, as well as the friends from the drug company that had gotten him compassionate use. It meant he was so well that he could fly to Los Angeles the Friday before the Oscars to meet his childhood hero, Tim Burton. From the corpse bride to Alice in Wonderland, Kathan's favorite, as well as my favorite, those movies got Kathan through some pretty dark hours and some pretty tough times. And when Kathan got back from that trip, he said, you know, meeting Mr. Burton was meeting like meeting a favorite lost uncle. It made him happy. Actually, Kathan was doing so well, he got to star in his own story. But as he's pointing out to the director of his story, I, when I grow up, I want to be a director and not an actor. Unfortunately, on July 11th, this past summer, after a courageous and noble seven and a half year fight with this horrible disease, Kathan passed away and left this world for the next. And literally at the moment of his passing, directly over his house, Kathan's rainbow appeared. It is why I am here, because I made Kathan a promise that day that I would never stop fighting the Jabberwocky. Now, the Jabberwocky is a character in Alice in Wonderland, and it was Kathan and my code word for his leukemia. Because as Siddhartha Mukherjee points out, cancer, cancer, is the emperor of all maladies. We've done a pretty good job of getting rid of polio and smallpox and tuberculosis, but cancer. This emperor has had a reign of terror. This emperor's reign has gone on too long. This emperor's reign can and will come to an end. Two years ago, I had the privilege of speaking at TEDx Austin about my work inspired by Kathan's cancer and my wife's. Work to create a new internet. An internet capable of connecting people at the same deep and fundamental level at which I had been connected to Kathan. An internet that doesn't have its connections hidden as Eli talks about in one of his TED Talks about what Facebook and Google are hiding from us. But today's not about that story. Today's about Kathan's story. And it is why I am here. Because Kathan's story started here. Although Kathan was born in Texas, Kathan is a Malaysian. And when I saw the theme of TEDx, Weld Quay, Artistry Within, 
I felt the tug of gravity to Penang. And the fact that it occurred one week after what, his 12th birth, what have, would have been his 12th birthday told me that I had to do more than just ride my bike. And so, like this artist, and like the artist Kathan, I too believe there is nothing more artistic than to love another. I loved Kathan. He became my little brother. And I cannot think of any better way to end my tribute to Kathan than with his own words. In a poem he wrote, I am kind and fun. I am artistic and thoughtful. I am peaceful and wonderful. I am joyful and creative. I am sweet and nice. I am superb and terrific. I am funny and smart. I am delightful and clever. I am hardworking and excellent at maths. I am forgetful and shy. I am lovable and proud. I am courageous and brave. I am not agile and quick. I am prim and proper. That is the Cathan I knew, and I hope it is the Cathan you now know too. Thank you. <laughs>